What's up guys and welcome to my channel Building Amazing Things. Today's video we're going to be building a shoe ordering app with Figma. I'll share with you some tips and tools I use in creating designs. Make sure you watch to the end of this video. So if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified once I create a new video. Before I get started, thank you my subscribers. Now I have about 450 subscribers. That's not much anyways. You could support my channel by sharing, commenting, liking and watching my videos to the end. Thank you because I know you will. So guys, I'm going to share you one tip right now. In this section and that tip is looking for inspiration from the internet before I make any design I go to the internet to look for inspiration and one of the best place I go to is Dribbles you can look at Dribbles they are wonderful UI designs you can pick out from Dribbles and look at what they are doing I also look at Pinterest Pinterest is also an interesting place but I got to find out about Instagram you can follow some hashtag on Instagram and one of them is UI trends which have over 294,000 posts so I got this design inspiration of this shoe app design from Instagram you can follow me up on Instagram I'm active on Instagram at hygiene is okay so follow me up there on Instagram so guys let's talk about the tool we're going to use for this design we're going to use figma there are so many benefits of using figma when it is a free tool too you can work with it on the browser three you can also work with it as a desktop application and one of the interesting thing about this figma you can use it to do your prototyping you can also use it to work as a team if you have various people working as a team so you guys can collaborate and work together as a team so you can use other tools like you can use photoshop you can use corridor you can use xt and the rest of that but in this tutorial we're using figma for this design so guys in your design you need some resources and one of those resources is images you need high quality images for your design that will make your designs to stand out so looking at this folder now i've downloaded four couple of images the black shoe nike the blue the red and the white nike shoes so i'm going to use these images but I got these images from the internet and I have removed the background of these images. I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds how to do this. So I go to onsplash.com. Onsplash.com is a free platform where you can download good quality images with no copyright attached to them. So these images are free. You can download it and use it in what design you're doing, either a web design, a mobile app design, and the rest of that. So I also did a video on Figma on how to remove the background of images. You can go check out the link below in the description. Also, there's an online tool you can use to remove background images. It's pretty fast. I use that online tool for this design. So, and um, the online tool is remove.bg. You can simply just upload the images and it removes the background like magic. So now I've opened my Figma environment. If you're new to Figma, I know this will look strange to you, but I'm doing a course on Figma. That course should be a crash course on Figma where you get to learn the basics. So for now, you're just going to look at what I'm doing and learn from what I'm doing. Um, it's not going to be easy to pick up now if you're new to Figma. But remember, I'm working on a crash course, so you can also check out my crash course. Uh, I hope that crash course will come out soon. So now um, on my Figma environment, if you're already used to Figma, you can um, understand this environment very well. So what I would do initially is um, I'm going to tell you how this app is going to look like. I'm going to basically just do two screens. The first screen is where you get to see the available shoes from the Nike store. Then the other screen is where you get to see the details of the, um, the particular shoe before you add that um, shoe to the cart. So um, basically that's the two screen I'm going to do for this video. The idea is for you to learn um, some basic skills and some basic um, tools and tips which I'm going to bring out to you and which I'm going to show you and one of them is mixing color and one of them is also um, playing around with shapes and bringing out different types of design so for now we are going to dive into the design aspect of this application I know you're excited so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is to click on my frame tool now if I select the frame tool I'm going to decide which screen size I'm going to design this app for and I'm going to use 
iPhone 11 Pro X. That's what I want to use for the design. So I'll rename this um, frame to, let's say, the products. This should be the product screen where you get to see the different products. So um, I want the edges of these um, products to be curved, this product screen to be curved. So I can go to corner radius and make it to be 30. And I have a curve um, corner radius. So the next thing I'll need to do is um, I'll select my text to and add a text and do some basic configuration of the text. So I like using pumpings. Then um, let's say the font size should be medium and um, let's reduce the size down to like say 24. And we'll write some basic text. Let's say our Nike um, shoe store. Next thing I'm going to do is um, add a grid, um, a layer grid to this frame. That will help me to align my content. Like this text now, I need to align the, the text properly on this frame. So I need to set my layer grid. So I just click on this plus icon here and I click on this box and select um, columns. Usually websites are six, so um, 12. I use six for my mobile app design and I use margin of 30. So that way I can look at what the grid is and align this content very, very well on this frame. So now what I'm going to do is to select this Nike and um, align it down to this spot and I make sure it's matching with this line of my grid line. So I can turn off the grid line by clicking on this I2 and it gets off my design. So next thing I want to do is um, I want to add a hamburger that maybe choose other options of the app. So what I will do is to select my pen tool and I'm going to carefully zoom in here and click here and click, hold my shift on the, uh, on the keyboard and click also so when i'm done i click on the escape so i have this i click on done i have this so i'm going to duplicate this um, in three places and um, if you check the the alignments they're not properly aligned so we have some alignment tools here that can help us to align this properly so i'm going to select these three um content and um, select disabled vertical spacing that way it will align the spaces between them to be equal then um, also i'm going to set this to be center so when i click on center everything looks aligned well then i'm going to increase the stroke to two and i have my stroke uh, my hamburger um, icon ready here so i can use my command g or Control g whatever you're using Mac or Windows to group this content. Next, I need a search bar way I can search for tools, for shoes, sorry. And um, I'm going to click on the box that or the rectangle tool and make something like this. Then I'm going to add some corner ridges. Let's say um, we're going to add 10. And um, I'm going to increase this a little bit then um one thing you want to do is to reduce the opacity of this color so I'll click on fill and reduce the opacity and um just get something similar to this okay that's fine so um i'm going to increase this a little bit and that's fine so i need some icons i can go ahead and start designing the icons but it's going to take me a lot of time so one great tip i'm going to give out here is getting your icons out of the box so what i do is i go to plugins i install a plugin for that and in my previous video i've shown how to install plugins but no worries i'm still going to show you how to do that so to install a plugin, just right click and go to plugins, then go to manage plugins. So when you get to manage plugins, here you can see the plugins I've installed before now. 
So you can just click on these plugins here and um, you can search any plugin you want to um, install and then install the plugin. Plugin gives you extra functionality to Figma. So I'm going to close that and I'll just right click and go to plugins. I've installed these plugins you can see here. So I'm going to select, um, let's say feather icon. Feather icon is a good um, icon set. So I'll wait for it to get opened. Depending on your internet, how fast it's going to be. So good, my feather icon is open. So I need a search icon so i just search and uh, i'll click on this and this is my search icon so what i will do is to bring the search frame into my product frame and i'm going to take this down to this point and um i'll reduce the size this is 24 well what i'm going to do is um i'll click on constraint proportions and reduce it 22 that way the width is also reducing so i can make it 20 okay 20 is nice i can set it down here and i can reduce the opacity as well and let me close my feather icon i can reduce the opacity down this way and that's okay now next thing i want to do is i want to show cuts of um the shoe so what i'll I'm going to do is to add a rectangle again select a rectangle for the cuts then um, I'll add a corner radius let's say add a corner radius of 20 and this is fine so um, I'm going to pick I'm going to pick one of the shoes and let's try it so I'll go to my shoes these are the various shoes I've um, downloaded so I'm going to pick the blue shoe in and let's look at the blue shoe so um i want to pick a color from this blue shoe so um, one great tips here is you can pick colors from your images that way you don't have your images looking different color and your app looking different color so i'll just click on the fill here and click on the i2 here and um, click on this image and i have this color from the shoe and um I think I need to reduce the opacity of this color and um, I'm going to reduce it this way. That's fine. And um, I can add, um, I can make it a linear color. That way I have two sets of color. Then uh, I can rotate this color this way. Or I choose to make it radian. Or you choose to make it anything you want to set it to so but i'm choosing to make it radiant and i'm taking this part to this edge and taking this part this way then i'm bringing back the opacity of this back to 100 then i'm making it a change on this color so that i have a little touch of white at the middle if i increase it more you can see the white so i'm reducing it a little bit so i have a little touch of white on the background there so that's fine now so what next i want to do is um i'm going to duplicate this and i'll duplicate it by holding my alt and um, reduce the height so what i'll do now is i'll turn on my grid so that i can see what i have so i'm going to do this this way and then um, bring this this way so I'll do some basic alignment so that it matches to my grid line. So that's fine. So I can choose um, different colors. Let me set this also to match with the grid line. And this is fine. So I can turn off the grid line. Then I can change the color of this right to different colors. So I can click here and I can swap between different colors. So that's it. So I'm going to swap a little bit this way to get this. So I'll copy this color code and go to the next color and paste the color code there. And I'm going to reduce it to have like a white 
in it a little bit of white and this is nice so what next i'm going to do this search i'm going to add a text that describes that, that that's a search button so i have my search then um i also reduce the opacity of that search down and also reduce the size to let's say 18 and i'll bring it here so one thing i want to do is to group everything i have here i can set this to this height and set it to this height that way i can use a line center to make sure that it's center then i can select this too and also use my alignment to, to make it center then i can select with the text box and use my command g or ctrl g to group so i have that grouped then um next thing i want to do is um let me get in another shoe so let me get in the black shoe into this design and i'm going to take the black shoe to this point so what i'm going to do is to reduce this black shoe and this is too much okay and i think this is fine so i have this black shoe this way so uh, this is one of the cut and this image i want it to be behind or behind um the tech behind everything so i'm going to bring the text box down the frame sorry the rectangle down and bring the image above the rectangle so now i'm going to give some description of this um of this um of this card for this particular item so what i'm going to do is add a text so i'm going to click on the text and um, give it a text description this should be for the black sh nike shoe so i'm going to make this to be bold semi bold and i'm going to reduce the size to let's say 18. i'll drag it to this point and that's fine i'm also going to reduce the opacity a little bit and um, this is okay so next I'll need to do is um, let me bring down this image a little bit down then um, this more descriptions I can duplicate um, this text this black text I can duplicate it down to give another description and um, this shoe is for a pair so i can rename add a text i can change the text to appear this time around i'm going to reduce the opacity um very well or rather change the color to gray and i'll reduce the font size to let's say 12. so i think gray is not that interesting so i'm going to take it down to black black then reduce the opacity okay that's fine so um can zoom in and this um card is too curved so i'll reduce it to 15 and also do the same here so next thing i want to do is um i want to do that for um the price so i'm going to select this black and i'm going to duplicate it downward here then let's say the price for the price for this black Nike is um let's say the price is two twenty dollars. So I'm going to reduce the size to fourteen, then reduce the zeros down to twelve, or let's also make it eleven. 
just a kind of um, design then um, going to do some basic adjoint, uh, adjustment to this point I think that is fine so you can see as I'm working this image is disturbing me so I can click on the lock icon here so I don't get to select the image anytime again so I just have to select either the box or my text so anytime I need to do the adjustment I unlock the image so this text I need to bring it down a little bit this way and unlock the image so I can work with the image and lock it back so the next thing I need to do now is um I need to show that this is something you can select so I'll definitely add uh, maybe uh, an icon here so you can select it so what I'll do is I'll select my shape select my circle or eclipse and I'll set the height and width to 30 and then I'll set the color to white and I'm also reduce the opacity a little bit then using my plugin I can right click and go to plugin and go to feather icons then uh, I can look for a checkbox like this is a nice checkbox that means you want to select this and add it to cut so I'm going to click on it and drag it into the products then drag it in to the cycle so I'm going to reduce this a little bit this way and um, let's make it 18 by 18 then the color for this I'm going to select this color right so close this and um, instead of black for the color I'm going to select this and make it more darker so that it stands out it comes out so I'm going to do some basic alignment and I have this so um, next thing uh, there should be a um, navigation icon here that will take you back so I'm going to add um, a box this way this will actually take you back so I'm going to look at the height of this the height is around 18 so I'm going to make this um, let's say 18 by 18 well, that's not that's not good so I'll increase it a little bit and increase the width a little bit so I'm going to pick the color from this color and I'll use my pen to to do something to show that this is actually a navigation bar so I'm going to set the color to two the line size to be two and um, if you look at it and the edges are square so I'll need to format that so when I click on this and I select round the edges are round and you can also change the meeting points that is the joints to also be round as well so that's fine so I can add some corner edges to this let's say corner edges of three that's okay increase this a little bit and reduce this this way and do some basic alignment so I get what I want okay that's fine so you can click on it and click on the grid layout so you can do your basic alignment to the grid okay fine this one is aligned the Nike shoe is aligned our search bar is aligned so a ton of the grid line so um, I'm going to do that for the remaining um, shoes so I'll quickly do that
So guys, uh, I'll simply do some basic alignment, like I'll have to select this and uh, bring it down a little bit this way. And um, this is okay. So next thing I need to do is to add our icons at the down. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is to add a rectangle into this frame. This rectangle this way. So I'm going to change the fill color of this frame. I'm going to make it a little bit gray. So it has a little bit of gray. Then I'm going to make this footer icon should be white. And I'm going to add a shadow to it. I'll click on effects, then click on the shadow here. I'm making the top four also, and I'm making the blurness to be like say 20. So we have a very nice shadow here. So let me know what you think about the design so far. What do you think? How is the design coming along? And tell me what you have learned. Drop a, a comment what you have learned so far. So what I'm going to do now is to select an eclipse and uh, make a circle here. And let's say the circle should be 78 by 78. So now you're going to learn the basics of um, using uh, what we call the Boolean um, functions in Figma. So I'm going to select this circle to have this color. I think this color is okay. So I'm going to select the both of them. Then these are the Boolean effects here we have in Figma. So I'm going to use subtract. That way it has removed it. And um, I'm going to add another circle to it. Remember we used 78, so this time around, let's try 70 by 70. And let me do some proper alignments. And uh, I'm going to pick the color, pick back that color. Okay, fine. I'm going to take this a little bit up, then add some effects, that is some shadow. Making shadow 20. 20 is too much. Um, 10. 10 is okay. Then the opacity, I can reduce the opacity, and this is fine. So, what I'll do is I'll quickly add my icons to this. So, what I'll do is to right click and go to plugins and go to feather icon. So, what icons do I need? I need the home icon. So I'll click on the home icon. So I'm taking it into this product and I'll drag it here. I will increase the size, let's say 30, because this is the home. And I'll make the color to be white. I want this my icon to be here. So make it to be white. And that's fine. So, don't know why it's not changing. So I, I just need to close the icon and make it white. So okay, that's fine. So what next? I'll do the basic alignment and make sure it aligns using the Figma line. So I need other icons. So I need a heart icon. So I'll search for heart and that is it. So I'll take the hat into the product, then drag the hat this way. This is okay. Then align it a little bit down. I need the cut. So I'll click the cut and drag it into the product and then bring it down here. I need the setting. I'll click on the setting and drag it into the product, drag it down here. Then I need the graph to show um, reports. So 
we want to look for an icon for the graph and um okay here we go so i'm going to use this and bring it into the product and drag it down here so i'm going to use my alignment to, to my grid line so i'm going to set this to the middle this way and also set this to the middle i think that is in the middle the cut and set the um setting to be in the middle so i'm going to select the icons then click on align vertical center that way all of them are aligned vertically center and i'll drag it down a little bit close my my icon then i click on the frame then remove the grid so great if you have this design that's great you can do more you can do some tweaking you can do some alignment so that it will be neat another alignment you can do is selecting this boot and this boot icon and making it align vertical center so and uh, you can do all that like let's change the color of the drop shadow here so I want the color to be this color. I think and reduce the opacity. And that's fine. It's better than the black. So you can do other settings here. You can as well reduce this to let's say 65 by 65. I think that way it will be more better. And I'll do some basic alignment two and this is fine this is okay let me know what you think about the design and remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel please please and please subscribe like hit the notification bell and also please comment that will help me to create more videos on this channel so the next thing i'm going to do now is the next screen and um what i'm going to do is I can simply duplicate this to get this. Then um, I'm going to delete some content I don't need on this. Basically, I don't need all this content. Don't need this. I don't need this. But I need the hat again. And uh, as well, the shoe is locked, so I'll lock it and uh, I don't need it. So what I'll do now is um, um I'm going to add a right angle this way. I'm sending it, I'm going to send the hat to be in front, then I'll bring it down up a little bit. Then I'm going to add um some curve here so i'll click on the edit object and click on this so i'm going to add this a curve of 30 that is too small 40 and i think that is okay so I'll select this point and also make it 40. i'll click on done and now add a fill color to the frame and this color i want to add is i'm going to select color from this or from the shoe rather then um i'm going to make this radical and um let's change the colors this way then um i'm bringing this up a little bit here I'm reducing this then i'm increasing this a little bit okay this is fine so for this color i'm actually bringing back the opacity and bringing this little bit white in it then um i'm duplicating the shoe of the duplicating the shoe and i'm increasing the shoe increasing the shoe size something like this this is okay then um add the color to this rectangle make it white and that's okay then um i need a button and i need the text description so i'm duplicating this text here and i say this text should be nike um 
this should be the blue shoe right and um, I'm duplicating the pair of text uh, this way and this time around I'm saying one pair and I'm increasing the font size so let's say 14 and um, dragging it this way I still need to increase it let's say 18 and then this is okay so um i need a text description and i need a price so i can take the price from here and uh, i can increase the size of this price this size is 24 so i make similar so um make this 24 and this so the color I'm going to pick color from this shoe or rather reduce this shoe color to 69 opacity the blue shoe 69 it does okay oh that's too much so let me re increase it 89 let's say 80 see if we try 80 and also make this 80 for opacity so remember our grid line so i'll click on the product and show grid line so this is off our grid line so i'm going to drag it in and also increase that of the decimal values to let's say 13 and let's try 14 okay that's cool then reduce it and set this to the line and also this is at the line so i can turn off the grid line now and um, i need a text description for the products so i can drag this down a little bit and reduce the font size to let's say 18 then i'll say this should be the product description okay so i need some text of this product so i have a plugin called lorem lorem so if i install that plugin you can have access to it so when you click on the plugin it gives you dummy text so there's no text um, element here so i'm going to add the text element i want the text to take this size so i'll click on auto generate fills the content immediately how pretty nice is this so i'm going to reduce the opacity to let's say 40 and um, reduce the size to let's say 13. i'm going to increase the line height of this and okay this is fine i'm going to reduce this a little bit so we have a product description and i think this tech uh, this rectangle that the Curve here is too much, so I'm going to make it 35 and also make this 35. Now click on done. Then, um, next I need a um, call to action button, which should be our add to cart. So I'm going to take this this way, and um, this is okay. So I'm going to add corner radius of let's say 10 and 10 is too much so let's say 7 okay we've got 7 change the fake color to this and um, I'll reduce this a little bit then I'm going to duplicate this text in here send it to the front then change the description of the text to add to cut then I'm going to change the color of that text to white completely and this opposite bring it out then I'm going to make it semi bold so it stands out a little bit so I'm going to size this text to the rectangle that way I can align this text at the center and use align middle to get it to the middle so i'm also going to do another rectangle here 
and I'll remove the fill at the stroke. Sorry, remove the fill at the stroke. Then a stroke of two, and the color of the stroke should be this. And I can add a corner radius like this. Um, then I will increase this this way and set it to the middle. That way the person can be able to select favor um, that as the favorite. So the fill is white. I'm going to change the fill down to this. Sorry, the height hat. So I'll just click on the hat and click on the vector image. So that way I can add a fill to it. And maybe remove the stroke. So I'm going to select the color and select this color and that's okay. So I can select this and uh, do some formatting and select the boat and group them and select the text and the rectangle and group them as well. And select the both of them, then use my alignment tool. I'm going to use align vertically center to make sure they align properly well. Then um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit and this a little bit and bring the price down this way. Also going to bring the price, the product description downward a little bit. So next thing I'll need to do is um, if you want to add more, you, you just have one pair. You can select multiple um, quantity. You can select between one or two. So I'm going to add something for that. So I'm going to select this color, this gray color. I'm going to add some corner ridges. So in here, I'm going to add some text. So I'm selecting this photo description text, I'm duplicating it, and I'm bringing it to the front. Then um, I'm going to change this text to minus in case you want to minus uh, one of the one of these quantity you have added. And this should tell how many quantity I've added and the plus to add more. So what I'm going to do now is to change this font style. I don't like Pompeii for this. So I may look for array. Array, yeah, array is fine for this. So I'm going to select the three of them and use my alignment tool and good so once i'm done with my alignment i'll set it to the middle of this make sure i do the proper alignment to be aligned vertic um middle align middle so yeah, I have that. So I'm going to reduce the font size and make it um, 12. That's fine. Then I'm going to make it um, make it um, bold, semi bold, or but semi bold, depending. So make it um, bold, and also make the other one. Both. So I'm going to bring this closer a little bit and um, that's fine. So you can add more um, product or you can minus for this particular shoe. And let me know in the comment section what you already think about the design. And remember to share, like and subscribe to this channel. Share my video, follow me on Instagram at hygienist. Okay, so I'm turning on the grid to look at this and um, align properly to the grid. Make sure it's at the point of the grid. Yeah, it's fine. So I'll turn off the grid. So, assuming there are more pictures to this, so how do you, how do you then 
um, change the picture to see more. So I'm going to add an eclipse down here. So I'm going to make this eclipse 23 by 23. So I'm going to make the color to be black. Then I'll reduce the opacity a little bit. Then I'm going to duplicate this and the third one. So I'm selecting these two and I'm also reducing the opacity more this way. Then um, I'll select the board and say align vertically centered and um, use vertical spacing and use sorry horizontal spacing. That way I have it that way. And um, I'm going to select these two and also reduce the size to let's say 17 by 17. Make it more smaller and make sure they align. So great. You have your design. Awesome. So you can go ahead and do multiple things on this design. Um, I've not done great um, arrangements. You can do more. You can look at the design and see what you can add more to it. Next, we're going to do the prototype for this design and that should be the end. So I'm quickly going to do the prototype. We don't have much screen here, so I'll just show the basic prototype. To do a prototype, just go to prototype and I'm going to change the background color to, let's say, having this as a background color. Then I'm going to select um, iPhone X. Then um, I'm going to select the prototype uh, elements. So when I click on this, I want it to navigate to the screen. And when I click on the cut, so I'm going to select move in. Then it should move in from right to left. And when I want to go back, I can turn off this image so that I can select this and say back. Or rather, I should select the box and say go back to the screen. And I'm using move out and it should move out towards the right. So that's basically all about the prototype. To run your prototype, you can click on this play icon here, present. It opens the prototype for you. And let's see what we have. Cool. This is what we have. So we can go back to the first screen. This is the first screen. So we'll click on the cut. Yeah, and we'll click on the back and it's working pretty well. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm pretty excited I've bring out something like this for you to watch and learn. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video. Follow me on Instagram at hygienistok. And I'm very active there. Chat me up. I'll respond to you. And bye-bye. See you in my next video. Cheers.